so this is the story of the three little pigs when the big bad lamb of god okay jesus christ comes to blow on these houses okay if you say you're a christian you say you're a follower of christ then your house ought to be built that way it ought to be built on a firm foundation so guess what the lamb of god okay the big bad lamb is going to come and blow and see what you got going on so we all know that the first house it was made of straw we all know that when the big bad lamb comes to blow on that house that's made with straw, it's going to what? It's going to crumble. It's going to fly away, okay? It's going to be blown here, blown there, um, listening to every wind and doctrine. Uh-oh, that's what the word says, right? Do not be blown by every wind and doctrine. It's too many people out here listening to too many people who are not speaking Jesus Christ, okay? So, you need to be very cautious to not build your house with straw. So then we have the second pig, right? That was the second pig. He built his house with some sticks. Okay? He said, oh, okay, I'm better than you a little bit. Okay, brother, you know, um, you know, you built yours with straw. I'm going to build mine with some sticks. Okay, he gathered these sticks together. The big bad lamb of God came and said, oh, you a Christian? Okay, let me blow on your foundation and see what it's looking like and guess what happened them sticks they begin to what break and crumble okay so do not build your house with sticks that's y'all who are are you know a firm believer in christ but you break under pressure anything bad happens you just start breaking down and, and, and make no mistake, being a, a Christian, a believer of Christ and a follower of Christ is not an easy task, okay? But you still have some foundational issues that need to go on, okay? To make sure that your house is strong and solid in this time, okay? So then you have the brother who made his house out of brick, okay? The smartest one. And I imagine that he told his siblings, okay, y'all, Y'all material is a little bit faulty, but, but just like us Christians, when, when somebody tells you something that they see is faulty and it's not going to stand and it's not going to withhold the pressures that comes with being a Christian, y'all got a problem with it. Y'all don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear rebuke. You don't want to hear when somebody is telling you something, okay, it's danger up ahead. You want to make sure that you have a, you know, a firm foundation over your head. Y'all don't want to hear that. Every, everything is, oh, God is love. You can't judge me. And I imagine that these two brothers who made their house out of straw and out of sticks said, you can't judge me. You don't know what God is doing in my life. And then guess what? When the big bad limb of God came and blew on your house, you saw, oh, okay. Now I see why my brother built his house with brick. Okay, because this straw, it will not withstand the, the trials and the tribulations of Jesus Christ. Okay, this stick, it will, will not survive the pressures of being a Christian and a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. So listen, when somebody is trying to warn you of something and they see the dangers coming, please take heed to the warning. Because guess what? Them trials, them tribulations, they come. Them hard tests, they come. Okay. Um, the times where you're going to be in a crunch and it's going to be you and God, God, and you, you better be having your foundation of brick. Okay. Br brick is not easily destroyed. It's not easily cast down. You can't just go and, you know, push over some brick. Oh no, baby. You need bulldozers. You need, um, heavy machinery to knock down some bricks. So make sure that you a brick builder in this season. I love y'all. God bless.